I'm Matt Jones for Ramen Chokehold here with the other half of the main event. Peter Templer, it's all going down at the Coolum Civic Centre, September 8. He's taking on David Martinez, mate. How are you doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> That's the way, my man. And uh, look, I've done a little bit of research on you today. And uh, the first thing that I want to talk to you about is your height because you're pretty tall for lightweight that's for damn sure but the reason why i want to talk to you about it mate is because here i am i'm watching your fights and one announcer like he announces that you're 192 centimeters another announcer announces that you're 185 centimeters are we somewhere in the middle are we given dodgy information what's going on with your height mate? Uh, i think the first couple of fights i was 185 when i fought in march i was 188 at the doctors so, yeah just below 190. So you're still growing, man. We've got to tell everyone that you're only 20 years of age, aren't you? Yeah. Just so is that what it is? Like, how's lightweight going for you? Like, uh, you know, you, you think that maybe in the future you're going to have to move up? But Yeah, we're sort of like on that border. If they, they bring in the new um, the new weight divisions, like 73, 73 and a half, that'd be perfect. But, yeah, at the moment it's lightweight. Yeah, I think there's a lot of people in your shoes. Everyone's hanging out for that super lightweight division. So yeah. uh, I know uh, XFC's had a few uh, amateur super lightweight fights, so that's pretty cool. But, um, mate, what I want to start talking to you about is uh, obviously it's the first time we have had you on. What, uh, how did you get into MMA, you know, and uh, and what's your, you know, your first memories of that sort of thing? When I was about 15, got into it, I just saw it, seeing like the UFC and I'm on the TV, thought it looked pretty cool and wanted to try it out, so... Just jumped on Facebook and found Makai MMA. And that's where you are still to this day, isn't it, mate? You just got yeah. home from training. And um, and not only that, you got a few of the other boys on the card as well. So we better give them a shout out. They're obviously been helping you get ready for this one. Yeah, we've got um, Jack Macklin as the co-main. So he's looking great. He's, yeah, I hate to be an amateur middleweight. And Brandon Beach having his debut as well, first fight of the night. So he's looking sharp. And have you boys been doing anything extra special for this camp or uh, it's just uh, same as usual? Yeah, nothing super different. It's just good when you have a few boys on the one card that you've always got them training partners. You're always sort of pushing each other. So that's always good. And, uh, you know, we watch your fights and uh, you're obviously a very cerebral fighter. You like it down on the ground. And uh, you're a uh, purple bird, I believe. And, um, and so is David. And uh, he's basically got pretty much the same similar style to you, doesn't he? I was uh, a little bit similar, some differences, but yeah, generally somewhat similar. So, what do you reckon? Uh, what do you reckon the main differences are then? I reckon he's probably a bit more wrestly, where I'm a bit more jitsy, but that's probably the big thing. And is that uh, just you know from watching UFC? That's what you wanted to kind of make your way into or is that sort of how your games played out that's just sort of probably took the jits a bit better on like earlier in my first few years of training but then yeah my striking have been working putting in the extra time now so it's catching up definitely and uh who you been doing that with i've um, been striking with dave garnham matt parker johnny borchard so plenty of different inputs coming in and uh, so uh, what can we see? We're going to see a, a much improved Pete on his feet in this fight. Yeah, I was looking to keep it up a bit more in the last fight, but he pretty much shut down against the cage for me, so I had to take it. But, if it, yeah, might, we'll see how it goes. Wherever it ends up, I'm confident. And you've had a, a really, really successful amateur career, and uh, this fight you're obviously turning pro. Main event slot as well. What's that like, you know, uh, first pro fight and here you are landing up in a main event spot? Yeah, we didn't expect to be the main event when we took the fight, but that's how it turns out. It would be uh, maybe a bit, a bit spooky if I was there by myself, but we got Jack just behind me. We got plenty of boys down there, so it'll be good to have them around. And, uh, mate, you, uh, you're telling me that you... Uh... You know, you're working as well. What's what sort of challenges do you face? You know, when you're when you're working, uh, you know, casually or full time or anything like that, and and you've still got to get the training and all that sort of thing. It can be tricky training sometimes. Like I'll just get random shifts, like in the afternoon, or then I'll try like get something in in the morning, or if I've got assignments for uni as well to get them done, like getting home late after training, but it'll make it work. 
What are you studying at uni, mate? Uh, marketing. Nice one, mate. All about the marketing. It's all about the marketing, my big fella. Now, you're taking on the current, well, I guess he's not the current anymore because he's turning pro, but the uh, XFC amateur lightweight champion in David Martinez. How much have you seen this guy? Obviously, you guys are right up there on the rankings. I think he was one and you were five, but you could well as easily be right up there as well. Do you keep? A, do you, have you kept an eye on him? Uh, have you heard about him before? How much study have you actually done on him? Uh, he, yeah, he's always been he's always been up there for a while now. So you sort of check out topology and know who the few top guys are. And yeah, I think it would have been good to get that shot for that amateur XFC belt a while ago. But now we uh, finally got the match up, so it'll be good. Hundred percent, my man. And uh, how do you see this fight playing out? <sighs> we'll see. It could who knows? One of them ones. Yeah, it could go to the ground and be a bit of a battle on the ground, or we could sort of negate each other's groundwork and just stand and bang. So I'm happy either way. And uh, you got many, many friends and family that have come across and uh, come down and see you? Yeah, I've got a few boys down the sunny coast that I know and some family coming down. So we'll have some definitely a decent team from Akai MMA showing up. Awesome. What's the uh, what's the scene like, you know, the MMA scene in Mackay like, mate? It's definitely grown heaps since I started training. Dave was running Carnage in the Cage in Mackay as well. That was a decent size show. So, yeah, every year it's growing. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Now, as we know, you know, once you get in the cage, it's all up to you. But outside of the cage, you might have, you know, friends and family or whatever that help you along the way. Who do you want to give a shout out, uh, you know, and say thanks for getting you where you are, you know, up to leading up to this fight? Yeah, obviously, Dave and Tony Garnham run the MMA, they do heaps for us boys and Matt Parker, Johnny Borchard and just all the team at Mackay MMA help me train. Now, one more before we go, my man. I'm asking everyone. Everyone's copping this question. Connor versus could be the big fight. It's not that far away. I don't care who you want to win. I want you to tell me from your expert opinion who's going to get the job done. Could be round two. Yeah, be right here. Now, how is how's he going to do it? Just pound him out? Yeah, ground and pound. Might take a submission if he beats him up enough for it, but it's going to be, yeah, he's going to wrestle him. There you go. You heard it from Peter Templer himself, my man. As we said, it's your pro debut. Very impressive amateur uh, performances, which you can see on YouTube on the various ones. You just type in your name and they'll all come up. But uh, where can we follow this journey, mate, on social media? Peter Templar. Um, yeah, follow my Instagram. It's just Peter T underscore 98. So hit me up on that. There is Peter Templar. It's all going down next Saturday, September 8, Coastal Combat 4. I'm going to be there. Pete's going to be there, mate. I can't wait to see you there, and, uh, and we'll catch up then. All good. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thanks, mate.